Today we will learn how to design a calendar using Figma AI. Let's start. Create a frame. Enter a number 01 inside it. Make its font equal to, let's say 40 and medium. I am adding auto layout to this frame so I can align it better. Let's make it a square of 100 by 100. Fill it with a light gray color. This is the first day of the month in the calendar. Duplicate this frame using Command plus D. You can also copy and paste it. I am just duplicating this for around five to six times. All these are separate frames. Let's combine all these into a parent frame. Select all these frames. Right click and select this frame selection to make a parent frame. Add auto layout to this frame. Adding auto layout is a requirement before we can use Figma AI and apply replace content. Keep the alignment setting to left align. You can see we got an AI suggestion here. It has detected our next actions. It is suggesting us to replace the content in these frames. The replace content action uses the text content from the first element in a stack of repeating elements to generate content for the rest. Let's select this replace content option. The content starts replacing and you can see within a while the numbers in these frames are updated. This is how AI is making it easier and more interesting. There is something more for you. Next, we will extend these frames to fill the 30 or 31 days of the month. Figma allows you to extend your design elements. To extend this existing design, I can select the auto layout frame that contains repeating elements. You can see a handle displayed on the right side of this frame or container. Now I click and drag the handle to add more items with generated content. We can see that the content starts replacing automatically. If you have extended more than the required elements, just again click this handle and move it back to the left. This way we can remove the extra elements. So these are the 31 boxes representing the 31 days of the month. Now we need to change this frame to the shape of a calendar month. Change the direction setting of this auto layout frame to wrap and drag this frame to resize it. We have shown seven days of a week in a single row, just like we have any calendar control. Now, I am drawing another frame to create the calendar. Let's make this frame size equal to 1000 by 1000. We can adjust it later. Now add this days frame inside this calendar frame. I am changing the width of this frame to 1020 to keep reasonable padding on the left and right sides of the frame. Now we will add the names of days on top of these dates. I am adding a frame inside it. Just copy one of these boxes and add it to the new frame. Add text sun to represent the Sunday. Remove the fill color, or just make it white, and adjust it inside the frame. Now I am duplicating this frame six times to add the names of the seven days of the week. Before that, add auto layout in this frame. Adjust the spacing to 40 so the days can align with the dates below. Use Command plus D to duplicate them.
Now rename these boxes to the names of the seven days. You can add auto layout to this frame as well to make the organization easier. Make it vertical direction and keep the alignment to the bottom center. Just adjust the elements inside the frame. Now I am going to add another frame to show the name of the month as well as the navigation arrows. So let's add a new frame. I am reducing the gap between elements in the frame to give it a more cohesive look. Now we will add text inside the frame. I am just copying the text and pasting it inside the top frame. Add the name of the month. Make its font size a bit larger and bold it. Add these arrow icons. Set the gap settings to auto for this frame. So this is the calendar control, and you can see how easy it is to design a calendar using Figma AI. Thank you for watching. Let's meet soon with another interesting video.